right now the entire country is having a dialogue about gun control. And so if you're a politician anywhere in the country, you have to at least be willing to pretend that you're doing something. So state rep uh, Kendall Croker, a Republican of Evansville, Wyoming, has a bill in mind. Uh, this is what he wants to do in regards to gun control, and that is making it a crime in Wyoming for anyone to enforce new federal gun control laws. Uh, and so we have some details from it. Let's go to that. We have uh, federal agents who tried to enforce new gun control laws would face up to five years in prison and a $50,000 fine. All right, now think about this for a quick, quick second. <laughs> now look, you, you know, states' rights, states' rights. Now when uh, states say, okay, we're going to sell marijuana, okay, medical marijuana, or in the case of Colorado now, uh, you know, legal marijuana, um, drug dispensary rates. The federal government comes in, and, they, and they've done this in the past, they did a lot in California on the medical marijuana issue. They raid the dispensary, they take everything, they put the guy in jail oftentimes, they said, yeah. right? Now, can you imagine if California said, oh, yeah, well, we're going to war against the federal government. Oh, if yes. any of your federal agents come to violate our state laws on drugs, we're going to fight back, and we're going to arrest the federal government agents. That's a great idea. Okay, <laughs> that's insanity, right? Yeah. But on the gun issue, it's a little safer because both sides will definitely have guns and be looking forward <laughs> to using them. So, insanity tripled. He says he wants to be proactive. He says, we want to get things ahead of the game. We take the Second Amendment seriously in Wyoming. That's, that's not true. Uh, he does not take it seriously, nor does he take the rest of the Constitution seriously. He doesn't take actual Supreme Court interpretations of the nullification clause that conservatives historically have always gone to when they don't like something the federal government is doing. They don't take it seriously. And we have a response from Jeffrey Fisher, a Stanford University professor, former Supreme Court clerk says, it is elementary that a state cannot pass a statute that blocks enforcement of an otherwise enforceable federal law. So I think that it's likely that, that Ben, you are correct. He's doing this to make a name for himself. It's not actually going to become law. I, look, or if it, it does, it won't stick around long. I, I, I offer to you that there's a good possibility that that's it. And there's also a good possibility that he's and super he dumb. <laughs> yeah, right. That's yeah. That he might not yeah. understand things that are elementary. Might not yeah. understand <laughs> things that are elementary. I like that wording. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know what he's going to think. Well, around here, we're not going to say I made him Southern. Uh, he, well, I don't listen to no Stanford law professor. Okay, he's in his Ivy League. Uh, it's not Stanford's not I don't even think that's league. not even a. <laughs> no. Uh, in his Ivy Tower. Tower. We're not going to listen to one of them Pac 12 Ivory Tower professors. <laughs> <laughs> he could be from Arizona State or Stanford. I'm not going to listen to him either way.